Not long ago, deep in the Appalachian wilds, a group of drunken misfits joined forces to play Dungeons and Dragons. Inspired by boredom and equipped with loose morals and a questionable understanding of the rules, our heroes venture forth to explore strange new lands. So gather up your dice, your manuals, and your livers, and join us on a quest to make absolute fools of ourselves. This is Botched, a D&D podcast. Previously, on Botched! My penis! <laughs> it's, it's back! back. <laughs> it's back! My clit exploded! <laughs> it's been years <laughs> since I've seen you, little buddy. <laughs> I think I will buy that Subway franchise after all. I think it's going to turn out well for me. Welcome back, listeners, to the final episode of Season 7, <laughs> Episode 52. Thanks so much for tuning in. We are going to start right where we left off last time, as the group is kind of split, although Captain Gizzard could probably just reunite with the group right now. But I could, but I'm de- stuck up here. The devil here. teleports him. I'm well, stuck fly- up here, and my fly ran out. So <laughs> Did it? I'm stuck. Yes, it, it runs out after four minutes. It's like an hour, actually. Yeah, it's an hour. That's good. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, so the group has burst out of the underground death city, and you see just a sea of monsters, and you also see the giant hulking, uh, the, the skunt baby in the distance. Does, uh... Mm. Does Captain Gizzard see us bursting out of the ground with his sky glass? Roll a perception check, Gizzard. Sky glass. Plus f- f- four, right? Uh, I do. I got a 28. Yeah, you spot him. How far away are they? Mm, about, back, about a thousand feet back down. That's about three football fields, if you're trying to imagine. What, like a mile? No. A thousand? No, that's 5,280 <laughs> feet. Sorry, I'm used to kilometers. 5,2500 5, feet equals a mile. Whatever. They sang about it. Yeah. It should all be multiples of 10. Don't be an idiot. Uh, I still got me fly, yes? Yeah. Pretty fly. It's open. I don't wear pants. What do you wear? I wear a moo moo. <laughs> It's very flowing. It's a pirate flag. It's a pirate, pirate moo moo. It's got the, uh, the uh, you know, the, the pride flag on it. You're not dressed it's like the... It's ideal for comfort and mobility. That's yeah. true. You dress like the Crocs. But does from... it have pockets? It does mm. not. I use me uh, gizzard pocket as a pocket. Yeah. Two out of three mm. ain't bad. That's true. What are you doing, gizzard? I'm going to... So I'm going to fly down to my friends. Okay, all of a sudden, Gizzard lands next to you. He oh, still hoy, has a, hoy. oh, hey, bud. Still has a cannonball attached to his cannonball tail. worked out for you. I had tea with the devil. Uh, all right. The devil and I had a nice stoppage for tea. Should have played cards with him. Did you now? I talked to him. I did, yes. What do you two talk about? We talked about, uh, you know, starting a uh, Subway franchise. <sighs> Which he told me not to do, but I think he's just trying to get in on the franchise before I have a chance to do it. And I ain't gonna let him. I ain't gonna let him at all. You know what? Maybe he's just trying to muscle you out of that's the That's what I'm trying to say. You know, he say. doesn't want the competition. He already owns all the other subways. Well, that's why I tried to scare him off and told him about Felita's uh, super god, uh, Wonder. And I said, you better be careful because Wonder's coming for you. And uh, I don't... <laughs> I don't want you to step into me, Subway. And if you do, I've got the protection of wonder, I do. You told him that. Well, of course, I had to protect my uh, my Subway franchise before he jumped in. I would like to ready an action. All right. <laughs> okay. Uh, I can't do anything. Because I definitely wouldn't turn your fucking face into a canoe right about now. Well, like, did you... Are you going to buy the subway across from a subway? Or are you going to buy both of them? Do we not have more pressing they're matters next- than subways right now? <laughs> it's not that they're across the street. They're Sorry. about two stores apart. Sorry, I love game theory, so like this seems this seems smart. It's, it's a subway, uh-huh. and then there's a um, there's a Sherwin-Williams in between it, and then another subway. These are the people that I'm on a leash to. It's like <laughs> this a This is who brought sandwich. me down after 10,000 years. These guys. Great. 
If you get hungry during your house repairs and repaintings, you can go to that subway. Subway West or Subway, subway East? Subway. It's got a cloud over it. I cast cloud. Let's or you can come subway. to my subway. Where we don't make your sandwiches right, but we make them fast. Where no one has clogged the toilet or thrown a brick through the window. <laughs> Yet, because we just opened. Tom pulls his pistols and just starts walking out towards monsters and just starts shooting because he can't shoot you. So he just starts blasting. Move that draw well, there goes it. our stealth roll, I guess. I do it stealth roll anyway. You can do I say. It. Mr. Tom Bastard. You could easily do a stealth roll because obviously he would be making a bunch of noise and would be the one that's noticed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's about 30 feet out in front of you at this point anyways. I'll, I'll stealth too. Fuck that guy. But he is basically tearing through uh, the demonic entities that are in the surrounding area. Anything that's close by. It's just headshot, headshot. Shoot him in the knee, shoot him in the face. Uh, breaking off a horn, shoving it in their eye kind of thing. Just... Yeah. Really getting the old murder out. Where are we headed, Tom? Well, I Don't. figured we were going towards the skunk baby. All right. Well, let's help him then, y'all. You want like a montage roll there, voice and head? <laughs> I think Felita rolled roll. Oh, an sorry. Action. She read an, they read an action. What was your action that you readied? Uh, my action is readied for whenever I see the devil. Oh, okay. Um, how, how tall here? How tall is Tom? Tom is about six three. Okay, so I'm going to use my stealth roll, which was a 22, to kind of like hide between his legs and just make sure that I'm not really tripping him up, but that I'm also using those big ham hocks to hide from any monsters. You're, you're okay. like the uh, German shepherd with the police that is in exactly. oh, yeah. the <laughs> I'm okay. his attack turtle. Uh, all right, so uh, yeah, so that's what you're doing. Are the, so the rest of you are also going to be punching, shooting, montaging your way through this. Yeah, I'm going to do a, cr a drunken karate mm -hmm. montage okay. through the demon... So this is working for a while until you get down really into the valley where it's just so, it's too thick with monsters, I would say. There's too many of them. So you may need to try something else uh, or else you're going to be overwhelmed pretty quickly. Huh. I wonder what that could be. Should I do like a dance? I mean, you can. If only somebody had like a weapon of mass destruction on leash. <laughs> I took the leash off. Off the chain? Oh, okay. Yes. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cast Spirit Guardians. Okay. What's that do? So within a 15-foot circumference around me, or okay. radius? <gasps> sure. Yes. Um, a bunch of tiny little uh, spirit rats float around, and if anything gets close... They're going to take damage. They're going to tear it. Ratholomew and your, uh, I don't remember what you named your cat dragon, but... Cat, cat, uh, Tholomew. cat Tholomew. Cat Tholomew. Cat They're both very entertained by this uh, occurrence. Uh, Clancy, your spider is giving you just little gentle pets on like your like the back of your neck with its little furry tarantula legs to like try and comfort you to make sure that you're not, you know, stressed right now. I mean, this oh, is... Thank you. As it this is what I mean, Felita. You are terrifying. I have seen a lot in me days, but you are just absolutely scary. I forget what Dale has. Me too. It was a monkey, wasn't it? <laughs> I, I used to have tits. It was a monkey, yeah. yeah you, you, a you, monkey. Have a, you have a little pet monkey little that's just monkey. flinging shit at demons. Do uh, I got best something? Can. You ate it. Monkey. You literally <laughs> ate it. <laughs> that seems like something. That you I said, do. I have one pet. <laughs> and you ate your little iguana. Your that's iguana. right. It wasn't an iguana. Yeah. Fling and shit it just demons. demons. Yeah, yeah, that's funny. Yeah. <laughs> you said, I eat it. There can only be one. Yep. Yeah. All right. Does that help us out then? Uh, it helps a little. It, it, it helps. Making forward progress? A little bit, yeah. Um, Tom is starting to get a little bit overwhelmed, I would say, because he can only fire so many bullets at once, and there's just that many bodies that they're just sort of piling on top of one another. He's about. Does he need to talk about his feelings? He's about. 30 feet out and away from the majority of the group, except for Clancy, who is between his legs. I guess I'll fire a couple shots. Okay. Can we make him grow extra arms so he can shoot faster? I mean, you'd have to roll the wand, of, or the Tom of Wonder. Hmm. Guess we'll die. <laughs> okay. Uh, seeing that things are getting a little hairy, Felita is going to yell, Hey, Tom, you want a little... Uh, you want a boost? 
I mean, unless you have some other idea. Also, it doesn't necessarily give me a boost. It feels like I'm chugging nails and then some random fucking thing happens. That sounds fun. It's not. Yeah, but that random, that random thing might help. It might, so feel free to do it. I don't have a choice in the matter. Mmm, I don't like that. I got some meth. I could inject it into your leg or directly up into your taint. <laughs> Take I myth. would prefer if you didn't put meth okay, in me. Okay, but you said you wanted a boost. Is that What's that going to do for me? You won't sleep for days. <laughs> well, I'm going to be dead pain. shortly You'll have advantage on stuff. Fine. Give me meth. Not in my taint. Oh, Just do it on my leg. Taint the only way leg. to do it. <laughs> I lied. I don't have any meth. I'm sorry. Why would you lie to me in our time of need? <laughs> you, that's why. This, that's part of why I but killed you. You are a lying that, turtle. Doesn't that rod of wonder <laughs> sound good now? <laughs> uh, do you want some tea weed? I've got a cup of tea weed I, here. You're going to brew us some tea instead oh, of shooting? I, I actually have it already brewed. You see, yeah, the, the water's devil, already hot. Can't the devil, smell some shit. The <laughs> devil didn't really want to drink more than one, which I found rude, you see. As soon as I... Uh, How am I at the end of the world with you people? <laughs> How did I make it? I, I don't know, but I do know that it's God's will I that I get here? through this so that I can get to that franchise and run it properly, you see. We all have our own end goals. You better kill me before the end of this because I will see to it you never get a franchise. Well, here's the great thing. Because you keep trying to give me tea instead of shooting goddamn monsters. Uh, I'm going to need a, a front of the house manager and you kind of seem like the right <laughs> guy to you. do it. I hate you. Can I be in charge of booking bands? At the subway. At the subway. Yeah. That's, as long, that's what will differentiate you from the other one. As long as they are hardcore screamo emo bands, I think it should work out just I, fine. I was thinking maybe it'd be like a, a Mario Kart cover band. Okay. And then I could drive around your subway in like a figure eight in a little go-kart. Throwing shells at people. Throwing sub bread at people. Okay. So the goose comes and people are like, oh, the goose is eating the bread. Must be good. I'm going to come to your subway. I, I like the idea of that. <laughs> And the goose dies. We'll be we'll rebrand as sub slay. We'll rebrand. We bread here. All right. What are uh, you doing? Just giving I'm him tea. Drinking beer and punching <laughs> zombies. All right, you do that. Firebolt, firebolt, okay. firebolt. So you just is you're just shooting spells off in different directions. Got it. Anything else you guys are doing? You guys are getting overwhelmed. My hands are lethal weapons. I thought we were using Tom of Wonder. It hasn't happened yet. Oh. Well, here you go, Tommy, and I firebolt this mug and hand it over to him. Doesn't take it. I take he's got it. Guns in his hands. Okay, well, sure. put one down real quick. It will no, give you an energy. We don't boost. have time for your seaweed tea. It's tea weed. Don't I be don't rude. Don't care. It's good. The help. cup has a little loop on it. You could probably just put it over the barrel of his gun. <laughs> put it in my mouth. Got you it. You could put it in your pinky and still have your finger to trigger. Right, and then you put the gun next. You you can make it work. Uh, Felina, shake the top stick, please. <laughs> Use the Tommy gun. I don't feel good about it, but fine. And she rolls the die. D100. You roll it, I don't. <laughs> yep, 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 mm. yep. That is a 10. Sounds like a good number. Interesting. 10's unthreatening. Nice and even. Uh, So, everybody roll me a jack save. Give him the number 10. Special. Natural oh. fucking 20. You're uh, that works because you're, it's, it's, it's you're under time, so. Yeah, I'm right here. 19. Okay. 18. Okay. 19. Okay. You guys are fine as, uh, so you can tell, so Tom stops shooting for a moment as he sort of like doubles over in pain, like clutching his stomach. Huh? And uh, you, you notice that he starts to glow a little bit green and all of a sudden, all around you, this huge fucking jungle forest just erupts out of the ground, spearing uh, the demonic entities, knocking them around, and like, it's also giving you, because you all pass your deck saves, uh, you're dodging all the trees as they're popping up, so it's kind of giving you a clearer path for a little while anyways, before the jungle ends. Uh, the jungle goes for about 100 feet. It's and, like the mummy too. And it's like continually growing. So vines and bushes and trees and all of a sudden jungle animals are popping out of it and shit. Rawr. So yeah, so this lush Rawr. jungle just erupts out of nowhere around you guys. Are the monkeys on our side? <laughs> Depends. Do you have fencing lessons? What? <laughs> yes. <laughs> that makes them on your side. I've seen films. 
Yes. Monkeys love fencing. I'm picking all the mushrooms I can Roll see. Roll for into fencing. Bag. Are any of them named Katie? Can we tell them that they're good, good gorillas? gorillas. Uh, yes. <laughs> good. Uh, Katie, good gorillas. It was gorilla. Amy. I was going to say, oh, Amy. Katie didn't sound Amy. right. I was like, Katie? Amy was, was good gorilla. Yeah, Amy, good gorilla. Pretty Amy. Pretty Amy. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I rolled a nine for fencing. Uh, the monkeys are indifferent to you. You are less of a quality fencer than they prefer. Um, sorry. They're just indifferent to you. Does any of them seem like human or named like what? Charles or anything like that? No, they're just monkeys. Okay. Yeah. One of my co is like, named Amy, and I said Amy Gugger. Are they old that? world monkeys <laughs> or did not new world know what I was talking about. What are new world monkeys? New world what? monkeys are like your howler monkeys. Your you know, like howler. I would say they're more like Stuff howler. that's in the Amazon that's you. rainforest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's I would you. say it's more like Amazon. Yeah. So this gets you a little bit further. Um... Tom, can I grab one? A monkey? Oh, yeah, like a little one. What? Are you gonna grab. eat it? No, I'm not grab. going to eat it. Roll Dex. I wanted to charm Why do you have it. a baby monkey. You've eaten small things. How'd in you the past. steal a child? He's a puppy, baby <laughs> He's monkey. He's gonna spank that monkey. Fourteen. I thought you had to shock the monkey. Yeah, a monkey swings too low. <laughs> and you snatch it and I, it starts screaming. No, I uh, I, uh I, <laughs> animal I, handling. Animal handling to calm it down. Because it feels like you're a predator that's gonna kill I'm it. I'm not going to kill you. Oh my god. You're a reptile. I, gr you're, you're I grin my handling. teeth at it. You're not going to die. You, what you roll? Sixteen. Uh, <laughs> not a typical way to uh, cal calm down a monkey. I feel like showing them your teeth. But uh, it does seem to and have I, a calming effect on I it. I tap it, on me shoulder. It feels like you may be friend. Gizzard, good friend. Uh, shoulder. <laughs> it crawls on your shoulder. I'm going to take out a piece of a, a dehydrated apricot and okay. give it to him. It eats it. Hungrily, there you go. Happily. Dennis. I, I have got a Dennis monkey. <laughs> Dennis monkey. Okay. That's, so as we cross the... Shit's on your shoulder. The, that's fine. It normally <laughs> does. Yep. So does it cease to exist when we leave the... The, the Why would you bring that there yet? Okay. Got your day. Well, but, uh, <laughs> but you're about to exit the jungle. I exit. Um, I, I said I picked a bunch of mushrooms, though. The uh, the giant skunk baby is still a little ways off. So. Back uh, to the shooting montage. Back to the shooting montage. The monkey does not die <gasps> as soon as you leave the jungle. Nice. It stays there. Though it seems it very confused. Is it because he named it Dennis? Uh, yeah, the shit monkey named Dennis is... Uh, it's not a guy. shit monkey. Sure. It just shit on your shoulder. It's fine. Well, I mean... Because you gave it apricots. It's allergic. It doesn't know. Oh, I didn't know it had a stone this. fruit allergy. Yep. He's a jungle monkey. You can't just feed him you apricots. You can't just feed him people food. <laughs> I mean... Yeah. You're a wild animal. <laughs> they love dates. They, yeah. When would they ever dry fruit? <laughs> <laughs> they have the technology. It's, but true. It's okay. called a rock. Yeah. <laughs> He's a rock. <laughs> <laughs> it would take the same amount of time to have it sit on a rock to dehydrate <laughs> than using a dehydrator in the kitchen. Okay, okay. No. I so imagine you, smashing the... Sure. So you exit the forest. Uh, again, you're going to run into a similar issue of just a swarm of monsters, but Shit. you are making progress. So we just have to rinse and repeat the Wand of Wonder until we get A couple there. of times. Yeah, like get as far as we can and yeah. then boop the tom stick again. So yeah, you can either boop the tom stick or you can try to muscle your way through. Can, can we like cast a spell where we switch Tom's uh, pleasure and pain sensors so that instead of hurting him with the Wand of Wonder, we make him happy? Unfortunately, you can't cast spells on Smiling Tom. You, all right. Was it just an idea? Well, surely this dense jungle cover gives me a sneak attack on every one of my attacks. Sure. So yeah, you are just sneak attack. You, you're, you are definitely murdering demons and whatnot. You do see that there's Gang one Gang. especially large Gang Gang. demon, about 15 feet tall, Gang Gang. Gang Gang. trundling Gang its Gang. way towards your group. <laughs> what are you guys doing? I Gang Gang him. Gang Gang. Bring him down. Gang Gang. him. Hop Gang Gang. <laughs> okay. What, you, what is, what, I don't even know. What are you doing? <laughs> I mean, pop a Pang Pang Gang Gang. Gang Gang. I throw a javelin Gang at Gang him. Gang Gang. Gang Gang. At his face. <laughs> What now? I throw a javelin in his face. <laughs> okay. <laughs> throw a gang gang in his face. Got it. I javelin. Mean, oh, sorry. Gang gang. Jang jang. Javelin. Okay. Mm -hmm. What's everybody else doing? I'm going to wait until everyone else goes, and then I'm going to talk. I'm going to shoot him in the face. Okay. In addition to my spirit guardians, I'm going to cast Guardian of Faith. Hey. So that's me. I have like a, a, my big old baseball mat. Oh, that thing. <laughs> okay. Pops so up. 
and gets ready to beat the shit out of it. Okay. Uh, 16. Okay. Yeah, you guys are hitting it. Now, you guys have sustained little minor injuries, but nothing too crazy. Just with the scrapes of, you know, just, just little so demonic scrapes. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you're, you're, you're firing off a whole bunch of shots at this creature, Tom's. Uh, yeah, peppering the shit out of it in the face with pistols. It doesn't seem to be going down. This seems to be a bit tougher. But, um, but on top of that, because you're focus firing on this big one, shit. all the little ones are surrounding you and doing a little bit more damage and cutting and you know scraping and biting and all that stuff. Can I give uh, Dennis a, a little pistol to start taking out the little ones? Yeah, you can give it a pistol. Uh, let me give that monkey a pistol. Yeah, let me give it a pistol. See if the monkey who <coughs> was just born knows how to use a pistol. Let me let me fucking animal handle or like intelligence okay. or like sure, fucking sure, mining. Sure, 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 sure. Teach the monkey. I'm going to teach the monkey. Okay, you teach it. What do you want me to roll? Fuck it, animal handling. Sixteen. Teach the monkey you, the universal you, language of violence. Yeah, you've <laughs> taught it. You've taught <laughs> it the general idea of <laughs> point, point, end, point pull, and pull trigger. It's got it. This is literally, I can't wait to see the Statue of Liberty in a couple months. Yeah, it's aimed. This will be great. Not great, but this it doesn't really have to be. It's just, it just needs to fire wildly and not <laughs> hit the dirt. When yeah. monkey guns speak, everyone listen. <laughs> this is the start of Monkey Town. Monkey Town, sorry. That's why I asked if Charlie was here before. Oh, that Charlie. I thought you, well, you said, I thought you said Charles. I did. Okay. This is the first time I've used sneak fall. attack this whole season. Oh, man. Good job. That's a lot of fives. Good job. You guys, I, Dale starts using his key points every round to make flurry of bros to attack a bunch. To flurry of bros. Flurries of bros sadden. To do the screaming eel punch at these demons. Okay. Yeah, you are. You fucking screaming me me eels things. Cool. You guys are sustaining more injuries though. But I just um, doubled my attacks. I know you did, yeah. God but I'm saying it. there's just so many enemies at this point. And my unarmed attacks ignore resistance immediately. How are they getting near me? So the bigger ones, I don't think your spirit guardian does like lethal damage instantly to everything, does it? Like forever? I just feel it's like, like it deals. If any, it just I feel like it just does if, damage, right? If anything like comes close to me, yeah. they do damage. Yeah. And then the guardian of faith. Yeah, but it, I mean. It, does damage. The Guardian of Faith can't attack like 20 guys at a time. No, it can. It's like anything in range. It's like a really mm -hmm. powerful spell. But simultaneously? Yeah, it's like an AoE thing. Yeah, it just goes okay. kind of like Cloud of Daggers. <laughs> okay. I, didn't, I mean, you guys aren't taking a massive amount of damage. You're just taking some damage. Oh, don't talk it down now. Okay. Just say you're taking <laughs> some damage. I didn't erase I what like I wrote to down. to roll to convert all these enemies to lovers. How do you do that? With his, death? with his nudity. I roll a... Is that a, is that a thing you got? You threw your little tattoo. 13, and I add my lover modifier. What is your lover modifier? Which is a billion. Oh! <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, they didn't really have room for it on the uh, sheet there, but I mm -hmm. wrote it in. Okay. <laughs> Which good. is weird, because it's on my computer monitor, so yeah. it's so it's, it's there in permanent marker now. I sure. thought you could um, look at porn movies, you know? What? No, oh, it's no, just, just porn porn her. Her. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Burn herb. I'm an... Mm -hmm. I'm an X videos guy now. Nice. Hey, welcome uh, to the team. <laughs> okay, I'll have to try it out. So yeah, uh, for some reason, it doesn't seem to have an effect. Almost like they're being controlled by something else. Thick. Well, hell hath no fury like a turtle spurn. That's true. I kill them all. Okay, you keep firing. Uh, the large creature is uh, in front of Tom and is starting to do damage to Tom. Like it's it's. it's smashing into the ground. Tom's doing his best to dodge and weave and all that stuff, but he is taking some damage. All right, him. I'm going to position myself properly to use Tidal Wave, okay. which is going oh, to good, uh, good push all these guys back, but also if they don't do a good uh, deck save, okay. they're going to take a bunch of damage and then be knocked prone. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good spell. Good spell. Roll it. Roll that beautiful game. They all save. Uh, they got a... 12. No, they do not save. Hooray! So knocked back and knocked down, I guess you mean? Yep. And they take some tidal wave damage, because it only takes a foot of wire to knock your ass over. Sure. Apparently. Okay. I don't trust physics, though. I think I could take a hurricane. <laughs> I've chugged a hurricane it. before. I could do it. I'm man. I got unearned confidence, I, as somebody once said. I greatly overestimate my effectiveness in a fist fight. Yep. 
I've played a monk in D&D. &D. Mm -hmm. I could take him. So what was that survey they did where like 30% of Americans thought that they could take on a bear? <laughs> yup. <laughs> I could do it. Yeah. But only Fuck yeah. but like but for some reason like like 10% fewer Brits thought that they could take on a rat. Okay. They're uh, sneaky. Yeah. Uh 25 damage to everything. Okay. And it's everything is pushed 30 feet back. Okay. How, how how large of a 30 Channel feet light. long, 10 feet wide. Nice. Okay. So it, it carves a little bit more of a path. Uh, you hear Tom basically yell. Now, again, the giant. He yells, thank you. The giant yep. skunt baby is pretty far in the distance, but you hear him yell out pretty loud shout of, Where are you going, Wade? Sorry, when, Wade? And uh, you notice the skunt baby stops and turns slowly towards your. <laughs> And uh, you notice that all these little appendages sort of like frill up on the body. As if he got really pissed off by seeing and hearing. You said my like Christian that. name. And um, so now he's starting to trundle in that direction while also just spewing more awful around the ground. Awful? So awful, yes. But of organ meat. You know this scut baby? I'm going to guess it's Wen Bade. He was like Beyblade. He was a guy who ran Yuma. He was crazy, into the occult. Pretty sure he sacrificed everybody in that town so he could, you know, turn into some sort of weird otherworldly creature. He had a whole bunch of books and stuff on it. Didn't think anything of it. That's why I put his crazy ass in there. Didn't think he'd actually, you know, turn into a giant skunt baby. Yes, that was his fault, I mean, not mine. I didn't think the cult leader would actually sacrifice the people. I, we, I thought nothing I didn't when think he published that go for memoir, it. me and the giant skunt baby ritual. Helter. A true story. Skelter. Well, I didn't know What's he'd go mean? turn into a skunt baby. He was obsessed with uh, fucking pussy. <laughs> yeah, Warforged and, uh, you know, all that Warhammer stuff. Warhammer 40,000. That's exactly right. <laughs> Very so expensive hobby. I just hobby. figured he was going to try and waste time on making more Warforged. Do not recommend that. He's an avatar of corn. Yeah. But also, <laughs> I had no fear because, uh, you know, I couldn't die at the point. Corn so for the corn god. Whatever. Yeah, Any vegetable, not the chaos. <laughs> That's right. So, yeah, so he, so you guys continue forward and you're, you're still, you know, fighting it out. And everything. There can be only come. Help us, Felita. So, Felita, how close do you want to get to Skunt Baby to before you take a shot? You have three bullets with that gun and then there are no more bullets with the, with the, uh, Colt. One more wand. We want to mm -hmm, celebrate. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, I personally want to get really close. I don't care if everybody else does. Okay. All right. So it's going to be tough then because the because the skunk baby is releasing more. How far away is the skunk skunk baby? At this point, I'd say he's about a thousand feet out and closing. So like it opens up Going a bunch of mouths on it and like towards demons us or towards you. Towards, towards us. Do like do like demons just pour out of it somehow? Like yes, it lands? it's pouring out. Like of opens like up a, its armpits. It's 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 got like a hole in its chest that it's flowing. They're flowing out like a waterfall. Is Looks it? like blood, but they take shape on the way down. Huh. And they hit the ground, they just start scurrying. Huh. All kinds of different shapes, sizes, monstrosities, all kinds of different Hate stuff. Hate it. Um, but also, his body keeps changing. So, like, he had, he had like, two man legs that have split into, like, spider-looking appendages. He also has wings. Uh, but He's now like you're a super scroll. Got all it. these other little appendages popping off of him. Uh, almost like little tiny centipede legs and, like, all kinds of tentacles and things. Uh, and, he, yeah, he just looks pissed off. As he moves quickly towards your group. Fuck that guy. Sure. What are you doing? Fighting demons till we get closer. Okay. Uh, well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Pulling out all the stops. If, if I've cast a spell already, but I still have spell slots at that level, can I recast that spell? Pretty sure. I cast mm -hmm. Fly on Felita. Okay. I'm flying. Felita takes off. Felita, here you go. Why don't you cut through the bullshit and uh, shoot that baby right in the fucking mouth? But hey. also maybe help us by hitting the Tom one. Boop. Maybe it'll be helpful. We won't die. I'm also going to touch Felita's shoulder <laughs> with okay. and elbow. Cast, okay. cast light so that we have <laughs> a good. Light? Yes, it will glow. Her shoulder will glow, so that we can it's keep. Daytime. We can see it. It's it perpetually bright. <laughs> okay. So we can try, like, in the '90s when Fox had the NHL and they put that little light around the puck so that normal people can I see like it. I like that. 
That is what Felita's gonna have. A little blue streak. A little blue streak. Okay. Um, All right. While Felita flies up and away, Tom notices that, and then he just continues to shout at Wenbade, and he's actually, he's he stopped firing at other demons, he's just firing at Wenbade. His guns aren't doing anything, obviously, and he, most of his shots aren't even hitting, because the distance is so, you know, big. He's mostly just trying to piss Distract. off Wenbade to keep him distracted. Oh, while the rest of you try and kill demons, but you are getting overrun pretty quick now that Tom's Help us, doing Felita. that. What are you doing? Guess um, as I start to go, I'm going to be like, sorry, Tom, and I just start rolling the die. Okay. As I'm flying away. Sure. Roll the die. I'll let you do three. Okay. I got an eight. <laughs> Out of a D100. Yes. And you've done a, a 10, 10 and, and an, an eight. eight. I think there was a 69 all before. Yeah. All of you. Not Felita, because Felita's too far away now, but Captain Gizzard, Dale Hoyt Jr., Clancy Scuttlebottom, and Smiling Tom all grow 10 feet taller. Hey. Let's go. And you're much larger now. Do I punch better now? Uh, I mean, de technically, yeah. I want to I want to do like... It's like fighting children. Down lower kick and just like do the World Combat thing where the I just sweep. Thing? The sweep. <laughs> sweep. Sweep. Oh, okay. <laughs> you just keep sweeping, kicking, punching. Uh, Smiling Tom's not even... Well, Smiling Tom's still firing at when Bade trying to distract. Uh, but also stepping on and kicking... Demons and things like that. I guess that means our spells would be bigger then as well, right? Ooh. Sure. We'll go with that. Uh, Felita, what's the next roll? We're Texas now. A 20. Doing great. So, Doing so good. So loving, pick, loving pick high it. statistically Tom of the Asper 5050. starts glowing a blinding pink color. Nice. Uh, and he also is like, ah! Tim Barbie. Uh, so yeah, so he's very bright pink, almost blinding if you look at him. But it's actually blinding the demons because they're all focused on him as well. Ah. So yeah, so as long as none of you are looking directly at Smiling Tom, you won't be blinded. One more roll for you, Felita. He's a, he's a big ass neon light. Yes, he's giant neon light, which helps him distract when bade. Yes, it's great. All right, fifty. Mm. Mm -hmm. I hope this episode's done soon because I've got to shit. All of a sudden, Tom <laughs> starts moving twice as fast as normal. He gets hasted. He gets hasted. Let's and go. So he is shooting faster. He is moving faster. He's kicking faster. Everything he's doing, he's moving a lot quicker. Um, Clancy, by the way, when he got bigger, he's mostly just like a normal sized human. Now. <laughs> so he's, he's not five foot eight. He's, he's not a baby anymore. <laughs> He's still a little guy. Still a little guy. What is that from? I mean, even I'm if he's finally like <laughs> six feet tall. Yeah. No, but you said five eleven. I know. Yeah. All grew ten feet. Tall. He's thirteen feet. He's thirteen though. feet tall. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's not a little baby. <laughs> he's a baby. I'm um, a big baby. I'm a big strong baby. Sure. <laughs> so Felina, you're flying closer. Uh, when Bade does not notice you, he is too focused. His rage on Tom. Uh, so you're getting closer. How close do you want to get before you try and shoot a shot? Mm, I want to get, like, you know, within, like, 30 seconds of being able to touch him, you know? Because okay. there's also, like, a swarm of little flying critters around him as well. So if you get too close, they'll, they might yeah, spot I'm gonna you. Yeah, go I'm going to go ahead and cast Dispel Good and Evil. What's that do? Uh, shimmering energy surrounds and protects me from fey undead and creatures originating from beyond the material plane for the duration. Celestials, elementals, fey, fiends, and undead have disadvantage on attack rolls against me. Nice. Okay. You do that. And I have, I have a thing that I can do if I want to end the spell early. Okay. So, uh, you continue flying towards, uh, Wenbade, or the Skunt Baby, whatever you want to call him. And I would say... The, the swarm of flying critters sort of comes at you, but you have this, like, little bubble around you, so they keep missing you. You get a couple scratches here or there, but not too good. Most of the time, they're missing you. You're not sustaining much damage. I would say you are about within 100 feet of them, so now you wouldn't have disadvantage on a shot anymore. You would just have a normal attack roll. You could continue to get closer if you'd like, though he is moving towards you as well, so he may spot you now, because you're right there. And you are lit up, because... And your spell. Gizzard put a Gizzard. flight on. <laughs> I uh, I end my flight spell. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Let there not be lights. <laughs> oh, do you want me to end the light spell? You didn't say it. It doesn't matter. Want. I'm still shimmering. That's true. Still sparkly. 
We don't leave. Uh, yeah. So as as I get real close, I'm going to end my dispel good and evil spell okay. and break an enchantment. Okay. So as my action, I touch a creature. So I'm gonna I'm gonna get up and touch him. Okay. I touch a creature that I can reach that is charmed, frightened, or possessed by a celestial, an elemental, an elemental, or a fey, a fiend, or an undead. The creature you touch is no longer charmed, frightened, or possessed by such creatures. So he's not possessed. He's not. He's not possessed. He but, ate a whole bunch of souls in order to take on all this power. So he didn't, he didn't actually get possessed by anything. He's still in full control. That's why he's pissed off at Tom and trying to go kill him. Uh, but when you do touch him, like, you feel a little, like, gurgly in your tummy a little bit. Like, you feel like, Ugh. Nurgle babies. But yeah, you're right up on him. But now, because you did that, uh, he notices you. And he's raising a fist. Can't miss when you're fucking point play. To try and punch mm-hmm. you. So you have one action before he's going to god punch I'm gonna you. I'm going to shoot him. Okay. I'm going to shoot him with the gun. With advantage. A coward. Since you're on. Okay. It's very hard to miss him. Double botched. <laughs> don't you dare. Fuck off. Don't say don't that. Don't you dare. I hope. Um, that'd be good. All right. So what kind of attack and does this gun with this do? It's, it? oh, it's the same as every. Okay. It's a pistol. And as Felita pulls the trigger... That's where we're going to take a break. Hello, listeners. It is I, Dennis, the world's most OKSD. I'm here to talk to you about patreon.com slash botch podcast. Now, you may be asking yourselves, Dennis, what do I get over at patreon.com slash botch podcast? Well, aside from the amazing Discord with all of our amazing fans or even the art that you get every so often, as long as we can get the artist section, make the art or the playing with us every other week on one of the highest possible tiers, or maybe even just getting the title of God King that we read at the end of every episode. But no, the main thing that you ought to be worried about are the bi-weekly episodes that we release just for patrons. This month is no exception, and for a first on Botched, Jenna DMs something for us. Now, she has DMed many times at DragonCon, but she's never actually DMed anything for Botched. So this changes this month. She, in fact, DM'd an amazing episode where we all play animatronics in a Disney World-esque style adventure. So I highly recommend everybody go check those out. And here's a little taste. What does it look like when this kid dies? Well, (laughs) as I'm berating them for being a naughty little bitch... Uh, she starts crying real hard, and, and, and the words just, you can tell, break her emotionally. As she has a flashback to, like, her, her, her grandpappy telling her she was going to grow up to be nothing, and she's always going to be a wasteful piece of shit that would just be a burden on society. And then she snaps back to, to me, laughing right in her stupid little face as her heart just stops. Why? Because she died from a broken heart, but also knowing that her grandpappy's goddamn premonition came true as this six foot five goddamn possum towers above her, pointing his pointy little claw down at her. You're gonna die alone because I'm about to leave. And I turn away and my possum tail hits her right in the face. And, and also she bleeds out from the rapier wound in her stomach because she's a small child, Phil. I mean, yeah, that happened as well. <laughs> yeah. It, it gets kind of dark at times, but uh, it's about as ridiculous as you would imagine Botched getting. So definitely head on over to patreon.com slash Botched Podcast and check it out right now. And we love all of you for your support. Thank you so much. Now, back to the show. And we're back. What'd you get? Just end the season there. <laughs> pull the cord. I got a dirty 20. Nice. You fire... Which is good because the other one was a three. So you uh, cock back the hammer. And when you pull the trigger, it is deafening loud. What, what are you pointing a picture at? Dick, dick butt? butt? Okay. Dick butt. It. Dick I butt. shoot him uh, in his dick butt. Shoot him ah, in dick there butt. we go. Um, he's a demon. <laughs> it doesn't make a large hole, but... But you can fly inside of it. Whenever now. you shoot... It just burrows right through him, and you notice that he stops immediately. And like you look up at him, and the his eyes were kind of whitish colored anyways, but they're like empty. And he just starts to to fall backwards. Mm. Um, all the other demonic entities are not dead. 
or no. anything. They're still alive. It's not like Attack of the... Or, um, Killer Tomatoes? No, it's not like uh, Salem's Phantom Lot. Menace. It's not like Phantom Menace where, you know, you kill the thing and they all die. Um, but all of a sudden, as Wenbei is falling I back, what the fuck are you talking about? Phantom oh, the robot, the, the robot, robot. Oh, the robot. Yeah, yeah, the thing okay. and all the robots. I mean, I would have gone Independence Day, but yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah it's how I was thinking. <laughs> That's what it's came to Phantom me. Menace. It's probably a Phantom Menace where there's Jedi. <laughs> they're, they're, you mean where spitting evil. is a cool trick? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. As he's in the falling, same place and spin. as he's falling backwards, the rest of your group goes back to normal. Oh. Tom also goes back to normal. Fuck and there's you. another blinding flash of light. Um, Felita, the stone that you had, you don't have it anymore. No. The wind bade falling, all the demonic entities. Roll me a D6, Felita. Can we shoot Tom now? Four. Uh, all of them immediately turn into shit. Just shit? wet, diarrhea, well, all kinds of different types of shit. Chunky <laughs> shit. Thick Wet shit, God. dehydrated shit. I was gonna say that. Everything. So like all of it. I feed it to the the dentist monkey. And it just He loves dehydrated things. Just everything goes away. Gross. And Felita, you feel this like tingling in the back of your neck. Ooh. Uh and you just hear this like giggling, which you recognize immediately as wonder. And you just hear it all around you. He's just like Felita. I'm free. <laughs> All I had to do was kill the baby. Well, and that, but also you, you used Tom as a wand of wonder, as a Tom of wonder. You brought just enough chaos in here to to free me from my bonds. Felita notices that uh, wonder has taken shape and is now standing down around where Tom and the rest of the party are. How many, how many bullets in that gun? There's two left. I'm going to fly down. Okay. You fly down. <laughs> one for me and one for you. <laughs> and Wonder's just like, I have so many fun plans for this world. Felita, you are going to be king of the world or queen of the world, whatever you want to call it. I don't care. But you're going to run everything. You're my high priestess because from now on, chaos is going to reign supreme. And you know what's great about chaos? It's fair. doesn't matter if you're rich, poor, powerful, weak. doesn't matter. Chaos comes for everybody. Maybe one day, sand will be water, water will be sand, low gravity another day. Who knows? It'll be fun. Every day will be an adventure. That doesn't sound fun. While you guys are having that conversation, there is a red flash of light, and Wonder starts screaming as, like, a Paper Mario style turns into, like, a 2D plane and starts folding in on himself until he turns into another dice, which lands perfectly in the devil's hand nice. and all of you feel as though you can't move oh. like mm. you are frozen in place mm. but my but my held action I know mm. he caught you all by surprise so you're all frozen in place she's a barbarian and can't be surprised she's not a barbarian <laughs> sorry uh, I tried and so the dice that's now settled in his hand looks like it's made of bone and each of the dots is instead uh, it looks like a basically a skeletal head, except for the one side. The one side looks like Wonder's face, like screaming. And he goes, ah, much better. He pulls his pistol and then shoots Smiling Tom in the stomach. <laughs> and Smiling Tom falls backwards and lands on his ass next to a rock. And he just starts bleeding out of his stomach. Such is the fate of all the Irish. Yes. <laughs> and he goes, gizzard. Thank you so much for letting me know about Wonder showing up, because he is insufferable. But luckily, now I don't have to worry about him getting out again. And he goes over and he puts the dice in Felita's pocket, and he goes, roll that as many times as you want. All you have to do to get him out is roll a one. Fun fact, it's a, li it's a rigged dice, it'll never roll one. And he's like, but hey, thanks for doing what I needed you to do and getting Smiling Tom here for me. I really, really appreciate it. I will make do on my end of the bargain. I will give you guys whatever it is you want. I won't drag you back to hell right now. Well, except for you, Dale. I don't even have a deal with you, so I'll just give oh, you no, a reward. Oh, no, he's... I need him. I'm not, huh? kill, I'm not taking him Wait. away. I'm just giving him a reward. I mean, he'll probably come to hell later anyways, just because, you know. 
What? Look at him. I'm a he's I'm a murdered rambler. How many children? I'm a no. I'm a rambler and a gambler. <laughs> I don't think he killed any children. He did, but he was blood fr- blood frenzy. No, that, that wasn't that my he fault. Was not under his control. He was drunk. Yeah. <laughs> that doesn't count. Yeah, that's why <laughs> we'll I'm always see. drunk. We'll see how that goes. Look, later. man. He's like, but ultimately, I got what I want. I think I want to drive a race car. Okay. Make I'll sure get you you're a race drunk car. first. You know what? I'll get you that race car, and I'll also get Gizzard his subway. Hey, I got a good sponsorship for this idea. <laughs> oh, <car>. yeah. <laughs> All of you are going to get what you want. Promise. Felita is not getting what they wanted. They well, don't come yet. Is it weird that I thought you asked for a race card? <laughs> Yeah, that is weird, man. I'm a half elf. I mean, I think maybe it says more about you than me. What does it? That you brought it up? I, <laughs> no matter what no, you I get, we'll first. put the you subway no logo on it. Sure. So the devil walks over to Smiling Tom and, you know, raises the pistol. And he's just like, "It's been a while, Tom." And Tom, uh, reverting back to his old voice because doing their, their voices are a little too similar. But I can still remember. <laughs> you can still remember, though, Dale. You can pretend. Filter it in your mind's eye. Hello again, you're right, scaly bastard. He goes, I'd like to make a last request before you put one in me. And the devil's just like, now why would I ever give you any sort of request? Because I'm the guy who shot the devil in the back, and as soon as you take me to hell... How many people, for 10,000 years, that story's been going around. Pretty sure I've got some pull down there. They're going to be more scared of me than you. I put more, most of them down there at this point. But if you give me one last request, one thing, I'll go quietly. You won't hear nothing from me. And he's just like, <sighs> and he's, he's rubbing his temple with the pistol. He's like, that's really, <laughs> it's dangerous. Don't do that. He's like, <sighs> what is it? He's like, I just want to. I just want to do one thing, say one thing, and then... Swallow to me. <laughs> and then that's that. You can, you can take me away, shoot me in the head, whatever you want to do. I'll be quiet. And he goes... <sighs> Fine. And Tom starts to sing a song. All of you roll me an insight check. Crit fail. Great. Kids okay, are so oblivious to all things. Hell yeah, wisdom. Uh, 20, dirty. Okay. 25. Okay. 28. Everybody but Gizzard. <laughs> I'm the only one who got hit. What's the deal? <laughs> the only one. All of you are pretty sure Tom is up to something. Huh. You're also positive uh. it has nothing to do with you guys. So, like, whatever he's scheming up mm-hmm. is not related to you at all. So, he begins to sing. I like a good sea shanty. Yeah. What's he singing? So he starts singing, and he sings, I've been a wild rover for many a year, and I spent all my money on on whiskey whiskey and and beer. But now I'm returning with gold and great stars, so I never will play the wild rover no no more, and it's no nay never. No name, never, never, no more Will I play play the the Wild Rover Rover. No, No, never, no more more. I can skip to the last verse or I can keep singing What would you like? Keep going Okay We'll we'll hit him with a double song (laughs) For whiskey and beer The devil is also pretty He's just like, fucking, I hate this stupid song Um, I went to an alehouse I used to frequent and I told the landlady me money was spent. I asked her for credit. She answered me nay. Such a custom as yours I could have any day. And it's no nay never. No nay never no more. Will I play the wild rover? No, no never, never, no more. I took from me pocket ten sovereigns bright, and the landlady's eyes open, open wide with, with delight. delight. She said, I have whiskeys and wines of the best, and the words that I spoke 
They were only in jest, and it's no, nay, never. No, nay, never, never no more. Will I, I play the wild rover? rover. No, no, never, no more. So, as the last verse comes up, the devil makes a comment about that. The three stars would not recommend. Felita, roll me a perception check with advantage. Okay. Hmm. Thank, thank wonder. Thank Nurgle. Dirty 20. Roll me an insight check with advantage. Okay, that's even better. 26. Okay. The DM is passing a note. All of a sudden, Felita finds that she can move. And just enough to be able to point the pistol at the devil. Roll me an attack. (sighs) (sighs) Ah, that's a 21. As the hammer cocks, Smiling Tom says, Never have sympathy for devils. The devil sort of stops in his tracks and starts to turn towards Felita, but before he can get the full fuck out of his mouth, Felita pulls the trigger. Hey. And the bullet tears out the end of the gun and hits the devil right square in the middle of the head and explodes out the back of his skull. The skull... When it does that, you don't see blood, but it looks more like a torrent of hellfire just shoots out the back of his head and starts spreading like waves out in the area. But the hellfire looks like it has like gaunt skeletal faces in it and they're all screaming and crying and all this stuff. And it goes out for hundreds of feet and then starts to coalesce into this large, looks like a a more gaunt version of the devil's skull and it starts to implode in on itself, and then the fire just dissipates, and the devil just hits the ground, and all of you are free. You notice that Tom is very, very pale, and his eyes have grayed over, and he's just staring out in the distance, and he he starts to mumble a little bit, and he says, um, I'll go home to me mother. Confess what I've done And I'll ask her to pardon Her prodigal son And should she embrace me As oft times before Then I never will play The wild rover no more And it's no... Nay, never. Punch, 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 punch. He's dead. <laughs> you punch a you punch a hole right through his skull. Uh, you you cost him uh, essentially two more seconds of his life, as he <sighs> wouldn't have even been able to finish the song. But you kill him, so you have punched Smiling Tom to death. The man who killed Smiling Tom. That's right. <laughs> He's dead. Did you guys even contract are contract with the devil to do it. If you guys are standing in the in a field of shit right now, uh, and you are free. <coughs> What is it that you would like to do? I would like to claim these lands as they will be very fertile farmland coming going forward. <laughs> okay. You do that. Yeah. I'm going to grow a shitload of corn. Okay. You, yeah, you could claim the lands. Sure. There's no more authority in this land. Most people have died anyways, so it's kind of, you know, stake your claim. Anything else you're doing in the immediate right now? Well, yeah, I mean, I'm going. I'm going to... I'm going to sail back to Newark. I meant right now? Yeah. Like I'm going right to, now. Right now, I'm <laughs> You're going... You're just immediately leaving to go get a well, boat? I'm going to probably get the money that the devil owes me out of his pocket. Um. Because I was so, promised uh, about sure. 15000 Roll, roll to search the devil. Let me just go inside the devil. I got a three. Mm. This should be... The devil definitely has a chain wallet. This should be easy. Mm. So with a three, you don't find... Oh, what do I find? Anything on the devil. Nothing. Other than his clothes. You can't even find his pistol. That you know you put, saw I'm him I'm going shoot. to take his clothes off. I'm okay. going to strip the devil. <laughs> you, t- you strip him. Uh, he's got a real spiky looking dick. I didn't he's want barbed. to know. I no. didn't have to you look at that. You said you took his clothes. Well, yes, but I didn't. I, I'm a... I've got... A gentleman? I've got, uh, I've got standards here. Roll, as, uh, a, roll a con save. 
But why would I have to do that? A nine. Two ten. Oh, a twelve. The temptation is too great. No, there's not. <laughs> you glance. You You're see making his things stick. weird for my character. I just say you glance at it. Nope, I don't. I didn't say you stare I'm longingly. I'm not glancy. <laughs> glancy. <laughs> glancy. But yeah, so I you, search you, for the devil's flask. Okay, roll uh, investigation or he perception? got a three. <laughs> I didn't with it with a perception. I got a sixteen. You do find a flask. Uh, you also find his pistol, and you also find a coin purse. I just wanted the flask. Okay. You find those things, I'm just saying. So, yeah, you take the flask. Uh, if you unscrew it. Uh-huh, I it, do. I'm it's got thirsty. peppermint what schnapps is, What is it. your uh, preferred type of booze? Is it, like, sweet? Is it smoky? Like, what What do you like? Uh, half vodka, half water. That's what it smells like. Vodka water. Mm-hmm. And uh, you chug it real good. You <laughs> notice that water. you notice that no how no matter how much you chug it, it never <laughs> runs out of booze. I'm gonna die. <laughs> yep. Never. I think it's you're a ready to become booze. a race car driver. It's a bottomless yeah. flask. I I take me to the next whiskey bar. Okay. See you all later. Sure. It's nice nice partying with Clancy, you. Clancy, Felita, you doing anything? There's a gun in the purse um, over there, y'all. On the devil, I'm, yeah. I own this land. Why do I need anything else? I take Y'all that. Owe, you all owe me rent. <laughs> Taxes. I take that uh, that purse then. I, okay. I put a up. red house on it. Okay, the purse seems hotel. to be an unending money bag. This was what was promised, old. What's my name, Captain Gizzard? But actually, roll me a um, nope. Old Gizzard. High low. Why? Because I said so. No, you yep. already gave it to me. I, I said, refuse. I said it's, it's an been un- low all night. You got to pick high. It is an unending money bag. I but, uh, go high. A, okay, it was low again. <laughs> it was a forty-four. It's just hay pennies. Like it's like wood coins. Technically, it has a value of some sort, but like it's not the most useful currency. <laughs> it will be at a land unlimited. that doesn't know what a hay penny sure. is. There you go. Anybody else doing anything? I'm gonna roll my d6. What the? Oh, the Wonder the Six. Wonder One? Sure. The Wonder Roll. Six. Yep. I got a one. <laughs> I got a four. Uh, Yep, you got a four. So, no, didn't land on one. Wonder's still stuck in there. Damn it. When you hold the dice, you can hear like a subtle screaming coming from it uh, of torment from a Wonder. Subtle scream sounds Nothing like happens, a great though. email screams band name. Are you guys doing anything else in this immediate era with either of these two bodies before you move on and, and basically sum up the rest of your lives? Oh, uh, I guess we'll put them in a compromising position. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> okay. All right. You do that. Does, does he let out a death fart? <laughs> uh, you, that's you, funny. You don't hear it because that already happened. Like he died a while back. Um, 10,000 year old yeah, death fart Yeah but bacteria continue to build In his rotting corpse So several death farts can happen Before the body is completely high low. away <laughs> One last high low For a death <laughs> fart High <laughs> Low again with 41 Wow He does not fart He had excised his bowels Before uh, the encounter Because he knew he was going to die. He shit while well, like he was killing deliberately demons. deliberately not listening <laughs> to what I'm pool. saying about the bacteria producing gases. Well, no, nope, he, he got them all out. Yeah. <laughs> That's, he took he, antibiotics. He got them all the bacteria. <laughs> yep. He got them all out. So, yeah, unfortunately, no mm-hmm. for that. Um, all right. So, if you're not doing anything else with these two bodies, uh, feel free to sum up what you do with the rest of your lives. I'll go off to the next whiskey bar and then the one after that and tell people how I, I was great and I killed... Smiling Tom with my fists. and So you guys are all legendary, by the way, because you killed Smiling Tom. Mm-hmm. Like, that word got around. Um, people didn't believe you, but they did eventually find the bodies in compromised positions. And the <laughs> devil. You guys killed not just Smiling Tom, but the devil. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, you guys are legends around the West. I get inappropriately drunk every opportunity I can. Okay, you do. You do that successfully. Uh, for the rest of your life... Uh, although it's not a terribly long life because nope. you drank way too much. But I'm a half elf, so you like another 60 year. Yeah, you had another 60 year of uh, liver failure. Uh-huh. Uh, and that's how the rest of your life goes. But you are a popular person everywhere you go, and you are a great champion of bar sports. Hell so, yeah. yeah. Gizzard, what are you doing? Uh, I get it on a, uh, a boat. Okay, you get a boat. You go back to the sea. No, you build a boat out of hay pennies. <laughs> I uh, I go back. I go to Newark, <laughs> New Jersey. Okay, it's not a place, but okay. 
He found it. I find it. Oh, you find it. Okay. Yes. You find a, d- a remote island and you name it Newark, New Jersey. No, not New, not New York. Newark. 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 Yeah. Newark. 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 And I, uh, I, I decide to use me hay pennies and I open up a, uh, a Quiznos. Okay. The worst choice. On a remote island. On the remotest <laughs> island of the right. world. the worst choice for subs. Because they, they're known for their sure. toasted subs, yeah. and I can oh shock this bread <laughs> sure. with my lightning breath oh, and oh turn it into... Also, we have slots. Okay. Yeah, there's slots. Slots. For, slots. for ten years of your business, you didn't have a single customer. But then finally, a storm rolls a shipwreck in, and there are two individuals that roll off and are so excited to see... That you have a restaurant there yes. with food, and they happily stay there, but they don't have any money. I kill them. <laughs> yes, you do. And you never Turn see another hand. customer for the rest of your life. But I still got me Monkey Dennis. Yes, Monkey <laughs> Dennis lived a, a, a long life of 10, well, that's 15 the thing. years. I've lived, with that, I've lived with this monkey for a while, and he never did the dishes <laughs> it's once. True. It's not true. He it's tried very striking true. So, okay, so that was Gizzard. Clancy, you now own a large swath of the West, and through your contractual abilities, uh, you end up taking a lot more land in the West as well as businesses. What are you doing with the rest of your life? I become the West's first corn baron using my <laughs> fertile land. I grow high-quality, nutritious corn. Okay. And sell it to people. All right, you do. As whiskey. You're a baron. Like, you're rich corn beyond baron. your... Wa- yeah, you're a corn baron. A corn. Mm-hmm. Eventually you die. Eventually, yeah, you you do eventually die. But yeah, malnutrition because the corn. Is, it's <laughs> yeah. just corn. Yeah, it's just corn. You get you you it never right through you. Never on your own crop. Never. <laughs> All right, Mitch. <laughs> uh, and then lastly, Felita, what are you doing with the rest of your life? Uh, Felita is just wandering town to town, um, finding little moments to teach people that it's better to make your own decisions and sow a little chaos. Okay, so you do. You go around town to town, and unbeknownst to you, for a while anyways, that uh, one of the times you used the Wand of Wonder, uh, Tom bestowed upon you immortality. Oh. So you cannot age, but if you were to, like, take a, enough damage, you would just die. So, like, you could still die okay. from injury, you just never get old. So you are essentially <sighs> immortal for as long as you... Survive, I suppose. But who's running hell? So when the rest of you die and go to hell, Putin, you notice that in charge is, for now anyways, Smiling Tom. Oh, hey, bud. He's like, been a while, especially Dale. He looks at you. He's like, what? You were about to die anyway. (laughs) I wanted the fame. Hey, I would have done the same. Doesn't mean I'm not going to shove hot pokers up your pee hole. No, bro. Hell yeah. Whatever. High five. You guys help me. Exactly. High five. He's like, and technically, I'm just keeping this seat warm anyways for when ever Felita shows up, if she ever shows up. But uh, but since you guys helped me kill the devil, I'm not going to torture the shit out of you all, like, most of the time. I'm going to suck you up. <laughs> suck you up. Uh, Dale, though. Until you hate it. Sorry. <laughs> I forgot. Oh, I only last three seconds. That's right. Dale, though, I'm going to... I'm going to torture Did you, you call forever. Dale Dale? Dale, 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 Dale. Dale. I didn't gain that much weight, man. I just mostly just drank yes, my you calories. Did. You drank so many calories. Who's daddy's little Dale Dale? <laughs> and as you guys... Uh, make fun of Dale for being fat. Make, fail, make fun of the <laughs> Dale Dale. And uh, Felita just continues to go around the world so in chaos, but unfortunately not ever being able to get uh, wonder out of his predicament. Man, I hope he comes back. Die. That is where we're going to end the season, so thanks so much for tuning in. Check us out next time. You can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, Spotify, TikTok, Reddit, and Twitch at Botch Podcast. This episode of Botch was brought to you by the Patreon producers, the OG Lone Ranger, Big Jim, the Knock Lord, Chronic Skinner, B. Mel, Shanda Panda, Disgruntled Furniture, Chris Wisdom, Zucari, Scabby Goose, Lost Limey, Sapper Supreme, God King, Red Panda Bash. May he reign long in hell. And oh, Shwambay. Want to support the show? You can go to our many stupid websites and do so. FreedomValleyHorsePace.com, DickBlood.me, DickBlood.club, CornHub.ICU, LizardTeats.com, Moke. Damn it, I had it the first episode. Mm. MookMilk.com. Mm. 
It's close. Buy these Viagra.com, Louisiana Pocket Gophers.com, damn you, Dennis.com, Birds with Penises.com, <laughs> Chickens.Church, or simply Patreon.com slash Botch podcast bow, bow, bow. can't support us financially but still want to support the show there's many ways to do so you could tell a friend that we're still doing this and then uh, come out here live every tuesday to watch the live show you can head on over to apple Podcasts or spotify leave us a five-star review and chonky will read it out on the show now look this is our last episode of the season which means whoever gets their itunes review in next will be the iTunes review that we read live at Dragon Con. In front of hundreds of people? In front of hundreds of fri- friends. Yeah. People. Thank you to Gozer for intro. Oh, and Chunky gets punched. Yeah. yeah that's true. Uh, thank you to Gozer for intro and outro music. More of them all over the internet and Gozer underscore music or find them on Spotify. Their album's out. Thank you to Emily Swan for her album art. You can find her all over the internet at a swan named Emily Want to have something sent to the studio? We put it on the wall of shame. Send it over to P.O. Box 3178, Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, 17325. Yeah. And we'll open it up here on stream. <sighs> Another season down. Thank God. Good thing you didn't search, Tom. We're, we did. We're, we're one, more, one more step closer to the end of this shit show. And as always, when you're... Do it. Someone else. DM... Decides he wants to sing an Irish, Irish, Irish jig at the end of your season. But a slow jam version. And cursing. Make sure you cut them off with remove shots, <laughs> random clapping, and duck sucking lips, and scream botched as you do so. We'll see you at Dragon Call. Yet. Mm. Dragon Call. We'll see you at Dragon Call. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Stop doing shots of bitters. We'll, <laughs> see we'll you. suck your dragon we'll cock. suck your <laughs> cock at Dragon Call. Nope. As long as you're the god. Kid. Handing out beers and sucking cocks. We'll see you next season, nerds. Enjoy the end of the season song. <laughs> Chickums wrote a blank check But the devil said we can't die yet I know I've got a little more time So I think we'll afford a little more crime Yeah, Chickums wrote a blank check One we haven't cast yet, alright But if I had to tug an udder I'd want it to be under one. Bad Corp sees a profit with you. Yes, why not start a business with me? But quick draw, here's the call of the sea. Chickens wrote a blank check. You're right. Chickum saw me dying When all canaries come on flying down Oh, really? I've only got a little more time But is bank fraud even really a crime? Now Chickums wrote a blank check The one we haven't cashed quite yet, y'all Watch me tug my uddies dry my milk malk makes your sperm count high. A bad corp, one more venture failed. Kill the turkey, save the future. Watch me tug my uddies dry. My milk malk makes your sperm count high. Please don't tug my gunshot sutures. Kill the turkey, save the future. 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 Save 
the future. Kill the turkey, save the future. Kill the turkey, save the future. Kill the turkey, save the future. You can support each of us in our own little different ways. My first comic book has come out, and if you'd like to purchase it, you can head on over to www.hiveheadstudios.com, where you can even download a free sample of the book to see if it's something, you know, up your alley. Uh, you can also support me over at patreon.com slash hiveheadstudios. You can support Steve's stuff over at YouTube or TikTok or any of his other social media at he who is Steve. You can support Phil on Patreon or Twitch at Imaginary Nomad. You can support Jen by checking out her other podcasts like Horse Girls and all your podcatchers. You can also check her out on social media or Twitch at Jenna Chill, chill with one L. And you can check out Chonky every so often on Twitch at Chonky underscore Kong. At least two licks. <laughs> How many licks does it take to get to the middle of a, one. Of a God King pop? <laughs> one! Oh, God. <laughs> Just one. Oh, God. <laughs>